they stayed at your house for how long? I, I figured maybe an hour or so of talking. I mean, I really don't remember. I remember them gathering everything, and they was always on a rush when they were over there. So it's like out the door. Okay. And then on a rush for what? I don't know. I never asked why they were leaving right quick most of the time. Now, right. that day, I specifically did not ask where they were going. Okay. I did not ask that day. Now, a lot of times, sometimes I'd know that they was running or, or you know, or I was watching them for a reason, but, I mean, no, not that I recall. I did not ask them when they was walking out the door where they were going. Okay. So, when they took the child or children, they took both of them? Yes, ma'am. And did they come back again later on, a few days later with the children? I mean, yes, they was coming over, you know, sometimes to sit for a little bit or drop the kids off for a little bit to me, watch them when they was doing something or something was going on with an argument or something. Okay. I watched the children for them. And you said an argument? Did they argue? Yes, ma'am. Chris and Courtney did? Yes, yes, Chris and Courtney. And were you concerned about the children being in the trailer when they were arguing? Yes, of course. So, did you see, did they come and drop the children off at your Residence. Yes, Courtney knew what they would be safe if she dropped them off, and I was just fine with them. You I didn't know. finish asking the oh, question. Sorry. Yeah, let me finish. Sorry. Did they come and drop the children off at your residence on October the 1st? Yes, ma'am. And how long did she leave them at your house? Two, three days. A newborn baby? Yes, ma'am. And her two-year-old daughter? Yes, ma'am. And you already had a 12, 9, 8, and 7-year-old at your house? Yes, ma'am. And now at that time, were you in communication with Courtney? Uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much, yeah. She would text and check on them and call me and check on them. Was she out of town? But I never would ask where she was at or anything. I mean, I, I mean I'm sure she would. I can't say she was out of town because I don't know. I can't say that. I know well, that I mean, did she travel for business or anything? No, no, no ma'am. Did she even have a car at that time? Um, actually, she did have um, a car. It was a PT Cruiser my, her father, Tim Bell, had gave her. Okay. And McNabb, he didn't have a car, did he? No, ma'am. And you know what kind of uh, activities they were involved in, don't you? Yes, ma'am. Would that include drugs? Yes. So you said that she dropped him off for two or three days. You don't know where they were during that period of time? No. And at some point in time, did you inquire where she was or when she was ever going to come back and pick up her newborn baby? No. Could you get in touch with her? I mean, yeah, I could get in touch with her. Um, I, she texts me sometimes and asks but I never asked when she was coming back or anything because I knew they were safe and when, when they were what? with um, the children, Clarissa, um, Clarissa and Kalia. But at some point in time, you did get frustrated, did you not? That, they, yeah, that I mean, you didn't know when she yeah, was coming back or where I mean, she I was? Yeah, of course. I mean, I get frustrated from time to time. And, I mean, it was, I had four kids already, so, I mean, that's stressful already. So did you call your mother on October the 3rd? Yeah, I got overwhelmed. And why were you overwhelmed? I mean, because I, I, mean, I had four kids and then plus two, it was a little stressful and I, I just get overwhelmed. I mean, I could have handled it, but I don't know. I guess just sometimes moms, you know, you get a little stressed and I just needed somebody to cry to and talk to for a minute. So I, I called my mom, Kim Weatherford, to cry to her and just let all my stress and worries and everything out on her. Well, it was, your, it was your stress, but it was also Courtney's children that you were taking care of. Yes, ma'am. And you um, know from raising children that newborns require a lot of attention. Yes, they do. And as a result of calling your mother, did Mr. Bell come over to the residence? Yes, ma'am, he did. And um, what did he do when he got there? He was mad. He was mad about the whole situation. And what did he do? He wanted his grandkids. And so I gave him his grandchildren because I thought that was the right thing to do. I mean. Did he take both of them at that time? 
No, he got Clelia for me. And at some point when Tim had went over there to confront them about the situation and a couple other things, they got Clarissa from them, from Tim. So it turns out when you said you didn't know where they were and you couldn't attest to whether they were out of town, they were right across the street? Oh, well, yes. Yeah, I mean, well, pretty much, yeah. Now, if they went to, like, hang out, I don't know all that or who they hung with, so I can't say that. But on that day, were you aware that they were there at the trailer over there at Eagle Point? Yes, ma'am. And did um, Tim get one of the children? Yes, he got the oldest one. No, I'm sorry. He got Clelia the baby. <clears throat> now, did you later on come to regret calling your mom? I did. Why is that? Because I felt like if I would just sucked it up, if I can say that, and dealt with relevance she's asking how she felt about making a phone call um, uh, I object to the relevance and if she's gonna say I feel like I could have made a difference in what happened um, I would ask that that uh, not be allowed on. I think it goes to the credibility of her testimony today I think it also goes to um, explain you know the conflict that she's got today testifying against her I don't like the question cousin okay so how why was it that you regretted calling Tim? Because I feel like it, it stirred up everything. Um, I, I just, I've blamed myself the whole time. Like, maybe if I would have just dealt with it a different way, or I don't know. I just feel like I made that phone call that day to my mom and Kim Weatherford, and when she called her brother Tim Bell, everything got out of control and I blamed myself the whole time. I feel like maybe I um, pissed him off, pissed them, I don't know. But you never had any concern about the two children's, or did you have any concern at all about the two children's safety? All the time. With Tim? No, no, never with Tim, never. But with Courtney and McNabb, you did? Yes. I knew my uncle would take care of them, it's just, I didn't really give him a hard time that day because I knew they would be okay.